back to a work week in my life. Welcome to Work to Live Diaries. I thought I filmed like this whole intro, but I didn't. All you missed is that I'm trying to get back on my greens blend. This is the Amazing Grass Greens. I haven't taken these in maybe like six months. I don't know. I just kind of like stopped taking them, but I have a whole, probably like a hundred servings or something in this. So I need to get back on this grind. That was the intro. Good morning. If you guys are new to my Work to Live Diaries, hi, my name is Jenna. I work full time at an accounting firm and Work to Live Diaries to show you guys my life outside of work and how I balance everything else in my life on top of my full time job because life is so much more than the job that we have. And I'm really excited to take you guys along. I haven't filmed like a full work week in a couple of weeks now, maybe like the last two weeks. Things have just been like really crazy with not even like having Beast our puppy, but just I feel like there's been a lot of plans and I'm like barely kind of staying afloat. So in times like that, I can't vlog like the whole week, but I think this week should be pretty normal, pretty chill. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to bring you guys along for the whole thing Monday through Friday. I work at an accounting firm in corporate strategy, but I have a separate video that's like a day in my life working at an accounting firm as a non-CPA. So check that out. I will leave that in the description box. But other than that, it is around like nine o'clock. I already signed on to work and everything. I'm just taking a break right now to get everything situated let me show you guys something now i started a new book last weekend i got this in new york this is people we meet on vacation by emily henry one of my best friends from college is a huge reader and she thinks that i would really love emily henry so i'm about 100 pages in it's really good so far it's like very wholesome and i just really like the story it's like very cute i think she also has like a new book that just came out so I'll probably read that after this but this is my current read people we meet on vacation i will talk to you guys in a little bit but i just want to start off this vlog it's been a while since I even vlogged at all so welcome back sleeping all morning he's so freaking cute i'm also having a very chill and quiet monday which is my ideal monday that's like how i best like to start my work weeks if i don't have a lot of meetings especially in the morning and i can just kind of like ease into my work day and like my work week that is ideal so it's been very quiet very productive i'm already like prepped for my afternoon meeting too so very chill day now i can enjoy breakfast sandwich Okay, really quick lunch break because I'm so grateful that Thomas doesn't have to go to class or not class because he's actually on his summer break right now but, but Thomas is actually doing like a research summer fellowship and I'm just really lucky that he doesn't have to go into the office or anything today because he can help me out with Beast so he's taking out Beast right now I'm gonna start eating because I'm so freaking hungry this looks so good I'm gonna give a quick Beast update too because I haven't vlogged the last like two weeks in a row just like days here and there but beast is officially three months as of tomorrow and he is training so well he definitely knows that outside is like where he needs to go but he still has accents it's just not as frequent as before and i feel like my biggest like tip or reflection or lesson that i've learned in having him in the last month is that you have to have all eyes on your dog at all times because the best thing that you could do is catch your dog in the act of having an accident because they understand behaviors like very in the moment and they learn very quickly especially shih tzus if we ever found beast having an accident we would pick him up literally as he's like peeing or pooping inside he's only pooped inside twice ever but peeing inside you literally pick him up right as he's doing it once you pick him up he'll stop doing it and then when you take him outside he finishes peeing outside so i think he definitely understands that outside is where he needs to go and he's sleeping really well through the night now we don't have to do night shifts anymore we're, we're doing like 12 and 6 or 11 and 5 so it's a lot better on our sleep schedules too and i just kind of feel like the worst is over with now we're just really like enhancing and solidifying the potty training and training and everything that we've done in the last month he's a really good boy and just like outside of all of the lessons and tips and stuff i just feel a lot happier having him and he reminds me a lot of my childhood dog timmy like i love being home now like i feel like i'm in such a like home body area Era, of course because I'm training my puppy because now I have this little thing loving me whenever I come home and whenever I'm at home and it's just really nice so that's my little beast update I'll show you guys him when he comes back but he's so sweet English muffin breakfast sandwiches homemade McDonald's
you, cutie? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You good boy. Beast just ate his dinner. He just woke up from a long nap. So he has lots of energy, right? This is dinner. This is the garlicky couscous shrimp HelloFresh. I think it's a new, but it looks really good. It was actually really, really simple to make too. It was very quick. It's 6.15. Also, I filmed my whole work from home setup tour update video before dinner and then made this dinner and it's still only 6.15. Tour videos are the best because they're so quick to film. But if you recognize this outfit, this is what I wore. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'm so excited because one, it's like a really big deal if I go to sleep before 11 and two, I have to wake up at five anyways to do the early morning shift for Beast. So I'm really looking forward to it because I'm gonna have just like a slow, quiet, early morning. I also have my retainer in if it's not obvious, but I just wanna document that everyone is different. But for me, I am just so antsy and I feel like my mood is like significantly worse when I don't get a workout in that day. I didn't even go on a walk today. I didn't work out this morning because I woke up a little bit late. I just feel like I could feel it in my mood. I needed to get some sort of movement in to like release those endorphins and like let out some energy. Even though I had a really chill day at work, I just hate feeling like I'm not moving my body as like weird as that sounds for anyone that doesn't like working out. It just really, really helps so much my mood. It doesn't have to be an intense workout. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. But for me, I just walked on incline for like 45 minutes on the treadmill. It doesn't even have to be that long. I just really like long distance things right now. It could even be like a 15 minute walk outside, 20 minute walk outside, a silent walk outside where you're just like literally clearing your mind, moving your body. It goes such a long way on your mental health. I promise you guys, it really, really does, especially for work. But I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning and I know it's a five day week. So I'm trying to like be better about over filming. But I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good night. Monday's done. Happy Tuesday. Oh my God, my workout today was so hard. I truthfully haven't been going to Orange Theory like as often as I used to. Once the half marathon ended, I kind of took a break from just like, I feel like high intensity stuff because I was recovering. And now I like just really enjoy running. So I've been running a lot more just like on the regular and I'm even thinking about doing another half marathon. And I know you guys are already gonna ask me like, where are your training tips? And I promise I will film it this month. I've planned like a sit down video of training tips for if you're running long distances or training for a half marathon. But I'm not a trainer, so I'm trying to think of tips that just helped me as like an average person who likes to exercise. I feel like I've been going to Orange Theory maybe like once a week or twice a week. I think twice. And I feel like you guys need to just see like a shift in my energy, why I like working out in the mornings. I know I mentioned this last night before I went to bed, but I'm just in such a better mood if I can work out in the mornings because then I'm not like groggy. I'm not like waiting for my coffee to wake me up. But when you have something as natural as like exercising to wake you up, I just feel like that's the best way to set yourself up for a good day. So I love working out in the mornings. I love running in the mornings, working out, all that stuff. And now I can start my work day. I'm gonna film the video for like long distance running training tips, I think probably next week or the week after. So, so you guys will see this video before I film that. So leave any comments down below if you want me to address like a certain something about running long distances or training for a half marathon as just, again, an average person. I'm having some of my boba protein today. I'm almost out of this, but I just like, I can't have this every day. I like kind of get sick of the taste and I'm out of my planta protein. I actually have another protein coming. Hopefully this week, it was from Women's Best or Chrissy Chella's brand, and I've never tried that before, so that's next. I'm actually really excited for my coffee, all things considered, and I'm gonna start my work day because it's like 8.40, and I'll talk to you guys later, but good morning, happy Tuesday. Good morning, Mr. Beast. He's still really sleepy, so he's eating his breakfast really slowly. He was eating in there, and now he's finishing out here. Guys, 
this is my perfect afternoon pickup right now. I'm really into making iced coffees in the afternoon. Maybe it's just because it's summer, I don't know why, but this is my recipe. I use a Dolce double shot of espresso pod from Nespresso. I add some almond milk or oat milk, and then I add a tablespoon and a half of just Tarani sugar-free vanilla, smallest dash of brown sugar creamer, and then just a little shake of pumpkin spice. It's like really, really good. Really, 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 really good. I had like a check-in meeting for a project right after lunch. So that's why I like didn't vlog with you guys during lunch. I had a very quick breakfast sandwich and I watched like one YouTube video for a lunch break, took out Beast and then had my meeting right after that. And ever since then I've just been working and it's a nice quiet day. I have an hour long meeting from three to four and then that's really it. So I'm just like really happy that this week is very chill. I feel like I'm in like the summer mood of my job where I even got a project out the door yesterday, talked about it this morning and everything. And we're just in like a really good spot, I think with our work week so far and Tuesday. Tuesdays are usually the worst, you guys know that, but I'm happy with today. And if I could edit a video tonight too, then I'll be really, really happy because I'm trying to be ahead of my upload schedule. I've just been like the most inconsistent than ever before on my channel but i also hope that if any of you guys have been subscribers since 2020 i feel like i'm actually in like the best mental state of my life since starting my channel it's definitely not easy having a lifestyle channel with a full-time job with a life outside of both of those things it's really hard and i think that i've been approaching my channel as like too much of a business for all of these years up until this year and i feel like it kind of goes with like me becoming happy with my job because I think I was wanting so bad for my YouTube to be my business and be my job because this corporate job like wasn't fulfilling me enough. But I feel like there's just been some team changes throughout the year that I feel like 2023 is like the happiest I've ever been in my career. And it's like so weird to say that I want YouTube to really be like a side hustle for sure, but more a part-time side hustle than a full-time side hustle. So I'm more inclined to take uploads off if I need to, but I usually try to keep like three out of four weeks. I try to do two uploads a week, which I think I've been doing pretty consistently. And then I would say like one week out of every single month, I'll do one upload. So it's just been really good for my mental health, my physical health. Like I'm able to make more time to actually sleep and therefore have better workouts and feel stronger and run and stuff. And like, I don't know, everything just i'm in like such a good place in my life and i feel really grateful because if you guys were watching last year i was so down bad last year you guys i was just so unhappy with everything with life with myself with my job like everything was so not okay last year and it's crazy one year later documenting my life to see like how much of a healthier and happier place i'm in so those are my afternoon coffee chat thoughts i've got to get back to work but i'll talk to you guys at the end of the day and i hope you guys are having a good day too did you have a good afternoon nap i'm gonna go outside you're the cutest boy ever yes you are He's still small, but look, he's so cute. He's a little over five pounds now, which is crazy. Tonight we're doing the enrichment toy for dinner and Beast is very hungry, right? Are you hungry? Is there something in there? Is there something in there? <gasps> Good boy! Uh, no, sweetie, that's, your, that's not a toy. Look, there's dinner in here, yay! Good boy! What dinner looks like, there's a little bit left over, but we were able to have around four, maybe five lettuce wraps each. And we have a lot of leftover lettuce, so that's good. We can have like another round of different types of lettuce wraps. But these are the cheeseburger lettuce wraps by HelloFresh. Literally like cheeseburger lettuce wrap. <laughs> Is that what it's supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thought I would do some unboxings with you guys because I got some packages that came in the mail and I already opened one. If you guys noticed, I've been wearing this new necklace today. This gold necklace is from Princess Polly, but this pearl necklace is from Saved by Salt, which is Adrian Hill's brand. I bought from her a while ago and this is like her small business. This is fully hers. I just like really love her content, who she is. She lives in Korea, like everything about her I love. She has a waterproof gold plated jewelry brand and I love my pieces like these earrings. I wear these literally all the time, 
all the time every day they're like my everyday earring they're under $50 they're gold plated so they don't tarnish and so I got more stuff from her summer collection I just have to show you guys this is an anklet isn't this absolutely stunning it's like a two-tiered anklet so I ordered over $100 worth of stuff there's like a surprise necklace this is the one that comes in with it oh my gosh this is so pretty it matches the ring that I got this is like the heirloom ring. I forget what it's called, but I'll leave titles of everything down below. And then I got this pearl necklace because I really just wanted a pearl necklace to wear in the summer. And then I got these pearl hoops. So everything is just so freaking cute. Again, this is Adrian Hill's like own business. And I genuinely think everything is so extremely high quality. It's anti-tarnish, it's waterproof. And you're supporting a female owned small business and you guys just have to check out Save by Salt. Second thing, I actually haven't opened this yet. So I'm excited to open this with you guys i'm now an affiliate with birth date co which is really cool they take your birthday and they make a candle out of it and it's like customized and stuff and i love having candles in the house here's what it looks like when you open it here's my candle it says october 10th which is my birthday and it gives you like your sign your deacon your number and your planet and then your strengths and weaknesses this is actually so cool and then it shows you what the scents are of that candle i think it's really really pretty the scents of this it actually smells really, really good. Wow. This is hydrangea, peony, and jasmine. And I love those scents. This is also really cool because it has more information on like your birthday and just like what happens on October 10th and more about your personality and stuff. Thank you so much to Birthday Candle. I'm really excited to have this. And I do have a discount code for you guys. Non-sponsored. I'm just like an affiliate now. So I'll be using this all the time. But if you use the code Jenna10, you can get 10% off your birthday co candle. I feel like these are really good gifts for like housewarming gifts, bridesmaids gifts, Mother's Day gifts. I feel like this is just a really good affordable but personal gift that you can make for someone, so. Okay, well, it is like almost seven o'clock. We just finished dinner and cleaning up and stuff. I really wanna edit my work from home setup video because I'm trying to get ahead, like I said, so that it can be ready on Friday and then I can edit this video throughout the remainder of the week so I can really stay ahead and not go crazy and I do wanna sleep early again, so. That's the plan for the evening. Okay, hello guys, it is 9.30. I'm actually like done my day. So let me just show you what I've done. Finished editing the work from home setup video. I'm so freaking happy. It took honestly like no time because this is a tour video. So there's not really, it's pretty self-explanatory when it comes to editing. It was only 11 minutes long, which is like really, really short. And I've even set it up in my YouTube studio. So I'm just, wow, I'm like so freaking happy about this. I caught him in the act of doing a little accent, right? And then after that, he just literally had the zoomies for like almost an hour. And now he's just totally passed out. <laughs> so, so tired. Here's a light grocery run that I did after my morning run. We just got some like very random essentials that we were out of. I have some Greek yogurt, Chobani Zero Sugar Vanilla, Chobani Non-Fat Original, and then Light and Fit Greek Strawberry Banana. This was recommended by my friend Jess Salemi, which you guys should watch her on YouTube. She's literally growing so much and I love her. She's become a really good friend of mine. And she is like my health and fitness queen right now. And she recommended these Light and Fit Greek yogurts. So I got this to try. Unsweetened Vanilla Almond Milk, Turkey Bacon, some marshmallows and vanilla extract because I want to try making like a single serve cookie. I saw this recipe and I just need to try it. So I also got some brown sugar for that. And then I also need some topping Parmesan cheese. So I got this and some strawberries. That's my very light grocery haul. Happy Wednesday. I went on the best morning run today. I went by myself, which I don't usually do, but I really wanted to go on a long run this morning. I'm trying to do a long run like once a week because I'm thinking about doing another half marathon in September. Just because I've like really fallen in love with running ever since doing my first half marathon and the cherry blossom 10 mile and everything. So I was like, I should just run another half marathon. This is like a true running essential for me. If you guys struggle with like holding your phone during a run or you just like don't like doing that, get a running belt. It's so nice. I don't really like the vests just because I feel like they're a little clunky and you can feel them too much, but running belts are so so nice. I'll link this one on Amazon. You just have to make sure that you're wearing something that like covers your 
skin like you can't really wear like a crop top or sports bra and then i wore this i had like a really bad like rug burn or like rope burn whatever it's called so now i just make sure to wear something that like covers my whole body when i run i wore a t-shirt on top of this and my run this morning was 6.52 miles and now it's 6 30 i'm gonna shower sign on to work 6 30 it's 8 30 i know i said this yesterday but getting my morning workout in is just like it's the best it's so like peaceful it feels like i'm exerting so much energy it feels like i don't live to work i just love my morning workouts so much and then after work i have the whole evening to just do whatever i just prefer that so much more than working out in the afternoon slash like after work because i feel like it takes up so much more of your time than you think like at least two hours to shower, get ready, go, do your workout. And I just like want that time to rest after work. Okay, happy hump day, let's shower. Have some breakfast. Come here, yes. We're trying to teach Beast to go in his crate. Okay, baby, you hungry? Beast, crate. Go in your crate. No, go in your crate. And then we have to do this. Good boy, crate, crate. He doesn't get it. Okay, baby. Happy end of the day. Oh my God, this day literally flew by and just like a lot of craziness chaotic stuff happened today during work that i'm just like wow the day's over this was a pretty quiet day for me and i don't know about you guys but i get very like sappy on quiet days at work and i just feel really grateful to even have a job to log off from and work on throughout the day and get paid like i just i know that having a job in itself is a luxury and i think it's easy to forget that when you're in the midst of your work week very very grateful to have a job that i genuinely enjoy right now all that to say happy end of the day i am so happy because i don't know if you can see behind me but I picked up some sweet green because Thomas ended up going to a happy hour that was started at five. So I was like, okay, if Thomas isn't here, I've been cooking the last two days, three days anyways, I'm going to treat myself to some sweet greens. So I picked up my favorite harvest bowl with cashew dressing instead of balsamic vinaigrette. And it's literally the best thing ever on this whole freaking planet. I love the harvest bowl so much from sweet green. Beast is even sleeping too, which is like such a random time, but it's like 5 30 and he's sleeping, which he doesn't usually do. So I'm going to make the most of it, eat my salad, read, and just like have myself a decompressing day because I'm so freaking tired from my run. Doing orange theory yesterday, running today. I'm not doing anything tomorrow. Tomorrow is a rest day. Okay. Actually, we're not going to read because, oh, What's this? As you guys probably know, one of my really, really good friends that I met through YouTube, but she also lives in the DC area, Selena Trevino. She's actually moving back to Oregon, I think this Sunday, which is literally so crazy. So I wanted to get her like a little going away gift. I got her a doodle planner. I've noticed that Selena has been coloring a lot lately. And this is, as you guys know, not only a planner, but it's also a bullet journal, habit tracker, mood tracker, and a coloring book so i figured even though it's midway through the year she could just take some time to color the past months if she wants to just like for fun but also like she has a new planner and this is so her vibe so i wanted to make just like a little collage let me show you guys how it looks so this is what the doodle planner looks like this is the latte grid color and i made her i'm going to show you this before i write the like note but i printed out some pictures from my hp sprocket added some stickers and we're gonna write just like a little a little note for her i also printed out some pictures of beast to put in my own doodle planner but oh my god look we're matching i just like love selena with all my heart i'm really sad she's moving so i like to give gifts as like that's honestly my love language for giving love i just love to give gifts and i hope that she'll take this little token and remember me in oregon use it as a reminder to not only have her plans down but also just take care of herself self-care color habit track mood track whatever she wants so selena if you're watching i love you i hope you enjoy the going away gift and remember me <laughs> is officially three months old he's like what 13 weeks now and he's gotten so big he's like five and a half pounds Aww. you're so big but beast is also in his biting era right now he like ah, please <laughs> 
He's biting out. It's strong. He's biting so much. Where's my good boy? That's what me and Thomas keep saying. But he's a very good boy. Right? It's time to get tired. He has an underbite. I know, he has an underbite just like Teamy. If you guys have any tips for the teething phase, let me know. Ow! Mm. Thursday. It's like 8 30 now. I was supposed to wake up early, like read, have a nice morning, but I ended up going to bed later than I wanted to. So woke up at five to take out bees, went back to bed, and then woke up again at eight. So that's my rest morning. But honestly, I'm still gonna read a little bit because reading, even if it's for like 10 minutes, I feel like it's just, I just need something before work. And if it's not working out, it's usually like journaling or reading. And I still need to do that even though I woke up at eight. I always feel so much more awake when I put my contacts on. Do you guys feel the same way? Also, this is the SPF that I'm using right now. That I got this as a gift in PR from Pacifica. This is the Vegan Collagen Everyday Lotion SPF 30 Sunscreen. Always have to put this on in the morning, especially now that I take out Beast and stuff. It's just really important to put on SPF today and every day. Did you finish your breakfast, sweetie? Yes, you did. Was it yummy? Did you like it? but I am like ravenous today. So it's lunchtime. Go in your crate. Uh, go in your crate. No, crate. That's crate. Yes, that's crate. He always does this. Okay. Thomas is making a Korean hot dog for lunch. And then I'm gonna use the last English muffin to make a breakfast sandwich. this morning but I just knew when I got home last night that I was not gonna get good sleep and I was right so I canceled my class like at the last second last night and then this morning I just did like a light incline walk I walked on incline for like 35 minutes or something like that that is like genuinely I feel like all I can do I definitely wanted to move my body still get like a workout in I just couldn't do something as high intensity as orange theory so I'm gonna try to go tomorrow because I like to go twice a week but instead I just did a little walk and now he's gonna go on a walk Say good morning, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's everything that's on the agenda today. It's 
pretty chill for the most part. One of the big things that I like to focus on on Fridays because they're usually very quiet, it's coming up with goals for the next fiscal year because my company runs on like a June to June fiscal year and it's June. So I need to think about what goals I wanna make for myself in the next year and like how I wanna grow professionally, what skills I wanna gain in my toolkit, what ways I wanna challenge myself, what ways I want to grow in leadership, just kind of all the ways that I want to grow in the next part of your career, the next year can all be made into little goals. And I think that it takes a little bit longer than everyone thinks to make goals too. So that's my main focus today. Just kind of start thinking and brainstorming about what my goals should be for the next year. And also I was editing this video last night. I just always over film. If you think about it, I'm filming a whole week, but every single day ideally should be like five minutes. And I vlog like eight minutes total edited, so like longer every single day. So all this to say that I need to remember that my week in my life is just like a highlight reel. It's not really everything. I try to document all the stuff that I feel like is worthy of showing you guys, but it's definitely not everything. I just always over film always. My company also does like summer Fridays where the office is closed at 3 p.m. every Friday. So my friend Emily is going to come over. She's actually from work and we're going to make cookies, have salad and just kind of like chill decompress together. And then Thomas and I are actually seeing Selena and David tonight too as like our last night hanging out. So I'm going to end off this video with like a huge montage because I did that in my last video, the day in the life working at an accounting firm. And I actually really, really enjoyed finishing off the video with like a montage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this work week vlog. This was very long and chatty and I just can't help myself. I just like hanging out with you guys, but more or less, I hope you guys enjoy just coming along with me for a very normal work week. Not really too much going on. This is definitely on the more chill side, which is good. This is like a summer work week for me and where hopefully I'm not too stressed a lot of the time and I can just kind of like go through my usual productivity, do my to-do list and everything, and just like go through every week with hopefully no problems. This is like very... I feel very grateful that there was no problems this week. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And stick around if you wanna see how we ended off this day with some friends. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, I'll see you already. Yay! Everything goes white. Is it good? I can feel the breeze. So good. Euphoric delight. Only you and me. Pour your honey, sickly sweet. Keeps me coming, got me weak. You could kill me, I'd still be. Darling, you're number six feet deep. Oh, it's real hard.